Uh, so Adam, it's been a really good season for you. I think seven goals have been at the heart of the Brentford midfield and, and you've won an award nominated by your peers. It doesn't really get a lot there, does it? No, no, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's a real boost to my confidence and uh, it's something that I wouldn't have won if it wasn't for my teammates um, and the staff and everyone around the place and, and the continued support of my family, which I got there in the And since you've made the move from Everton, you've had that great experience there and you came to Brentford. How have you developed as a, as a player? Have you added those, those goals to your game and, and gained great experience as well? Yeah, well, the goals were something I wanted to work on, uh, trying to help the team out a little bit more and uh, chip in. Um, yeah, and I, f I do feel I've, I've matured as a person off the pitch, um, buying my own home and uh, little things away from football as well, so it's been a real learning curve for me. Yeah. And this season it's been a, a great promotion push. Is it hard to kind of keep that to the back of your mind and, and focus on the remaining games and get the job done? Yeah, well, we, we just need to focus on the next game, and that's Coventry at home next week. Um, I think we can't look too far ahead. There's, a, there's 11 games to go, I think. So um, I think all we need to do is, like I said, is just focus on the next game. And was it a hard decision for you coming from Everton and going to Brentford? Obviously, a step down in leagues, but that opportunity to play regular first team football and you flourished, that was important. Uh, um, from a football sense, no. It was uh, it was really easy because uh, all I wanted to do was play in a first team. Uh, and luckily enough, we were actually giving me that chance. But um, the, probably the hardest part was moving away from me, my family and friends who, who I'm really close to and uh, living on my own for the first time. And, and you mentioned just there that obviously played with the likes of Ross Barkley. Yeah. Have you been surprised by his progress? Uh, no, not at all. No, Ross was, Ross was a top, top player and I always knew he was going to go on and do what he's doing now and he hopefully he goes to the World Cup, which he deserves. Yeah. And, and do you think he could, could make an impact in the World Cup? He seems to have that ability confidence just to Yeah, he's got the ability to grab a game by the scruff of the neck. Um, he's a real raw street footballer type. Um, he's good with both feet, big, strong. He's got a lot of good attributes. So, uh, no, I think he, he could have a, a key role if he, if he did go to the World Cup.